Deer Garden spent a year underground taking photos of metro stations in European capitals. His work shows unfamiliar aspects of familiar places bathed in surreal artificial light. Gert's Deer Garden lingers a lot longer than the average person in underground railway stations. travels to cities across Europe to find his motifs. His photographs are austere pictures of corridors, corners, angles and platforms. I find pictures. They're present. They're already there. I just gather them. Other people walk past them every day without really noticing. Diergarten's aim is to capture the subterranean realms of 20 European capitals. He patiently observes, compares, records. He's interested in distinctive characteristics and even slight differences. Drab walls are shown in a new light. There are no people in his photos, just empty architectural forms and spaces. If people are in a picture, it becomes a documentary. So this is the subway, and people are moving around there. It's a facility created for people and transports them from A to B. If nobody's in sight, it becomes abstract, as abstract as possible. That makes it a real picture. This series has just gone on show for the first time at the Kicken Gallery here in Berlin. The pictures are set to be displayed in subway stations across Europe. Goetz Diergarten is well known for his photos of architecture, a field that is often called typically German. These photos date from 2005. Diergarten teases beauty out of the drab, reveals the compositional sophistication of boring facades. Buildings and views most passers-by would hardly register become objects of contemplation. Diergarten says his photographs teach people to see, but he doesn't make things easy. We're all programmed to consider spectacular skyscrapers or grandiose landscapes something really special. But what about boring, sad places? It's about heightening perception becoming more sensitive and appreciative, but in a subtle kind of way. He invites us to relish Belgian beach huts, for their beauty or for the secrets they might hold. Diergarten only shoots outdoors when the sky is cloudy, the colors muted, the contrasts gentle. His subway series is the first shot under artificial light at any time of day or night, he took breaks during rush hour, when too many people would have got in the way. Bare walls can be sites of drama. In Helsinki, a natural rock face breaks through. The photos are formal, restrained, composed, free of any digital post-production tweaking. The motives are shot as they are. Though he made one exception at his favourite subway station, Berlin's Alexanderplatz. There was a big patch of dirt. I got a bucket of water and soap from the gallery and gave the floor a good scrub. Diergarten has so far explored seven subway systems and has 13 to go. It will take him two more years. The project he has entitled Metropolis might be considered a homage to a century of invention in a special architectural genre. If stations could speak, they would thank him. And as the song says, the last train has left and you're still there.